Hello, and welcome to the Change Gang Podcast with me, your host, Laura Ordeal. I'm here to help you hold on to your sanity and your soul as you move through big change. I'm here to guide you from frustration to flow in your life, bridging the practical and the woo just for you. Let's go. Welcome to the week, Change Gang. This week we're going to have some fun and we are going to chat about recognizing the wins because I think it's so fun to do that and I've had some moments over the last couple of days, some realizations about the amazing wins that I have had in my life just in the last few weeks. It's been really incredible and so I wanted to come in and talk about that and share about that a little bit and it's not to brag it at all. It's to let you know that as you are going along, when you take a moment to stop and recognize the wins, it amplifies them. It allows your mind to say, ooh, that makes her happy or him happy. And let's go find more of that so we can make them happier and happier and happier. Because, of course, that's what our subconscious is trying to do. Keep us safe and happy. I all of a sudden yesterday realized I had something unexpected happen. Some unexpected cash show up. And I sat there for a minute and it started to trigger that, oh my gosh, that's not the first time this month I got that other one and then there was that other one and I added it up for a minute and I just in the last couple of weeks have received fifty five hundred dollars five thousand five hundred dollars it was at five thousand four hundred and then as I was noticing I thought about another hundred it was actually 125 that I ended up with that was unexpected and that's cash that's cash money that has come into my account just in the last couple of weeks and I'm so excited about that because oftentimes we have things that happen and we recognize them we had somebody give us a discount or we had someone buy us a cup of coffee or or things like that and absolutely those are wonderful and they make me smile all the time and I'm going to share a little bit about that too but a lot of people say but I really want to see the cash I really want that And I've said that in the past. I still say that. I would really like to see the cash flowing in. And so to have that and be able to just smile so big and recognize it and have some of the concerns over some of the projects that we're doing right now and the cost of them just melt away. Felt so good. I was so happy about it. I'm still so happy about it and super excited because if you If you've been following me on social media at all, you are aware that we are doing some major painting at my house. If not, well, there you go. Now you know. We have been painting the whole outside and we're working on the inside. We have, I'd say about a little over a quarter done, maybe 30, 33% on the inside done and about 90% on the outside. We just literally today finished that. But through that process, we have had some really fun things happen some not so fun things we ended up having to buy more paint and it's expensive paint and so it's kind of like oh gosh you know there's another several hundreds of dollars worth of paint that we didn't get on sale because originally the fun part is we went in and we were deciding to go ahead and do all that painting and they had a big sale so we got this huge amount off and when that happened not only did we get that there was a way that for signing up for the particular account that was there we got an even bigger discount we were able to go back and get some more supplies and things that we needed without having to pay extra. We had gotten a rebate back and so that rebate covered the extra supplies that we needed. Boom! I love that and I recognize that and I'm so excited about that. Was it disappointing that we had to go and get some extra paint? Actually wasn't that disappointing. Maybe the second time we had to go back I was a little not happy about it but this is the big project and I'm really excited that it's happening because this has been on my list of what I would like to get done or have happen for a very long time and yes we are doing a lot of the work ourselves. That's okay. Would it have been nice to just hire someone to do it? Of course. But thankfully, we're both in a place where we're able to do it. 
And so, yes, we're exhausted. Yes, we're tired, but it's getting done. And I, it feels so good. It feels so good to have things fresh and clean and taken care of and checked off the list as something we don't have to think about for years now. Years. Woohoo! But in the process, we have had so many good things happening over the last few months. And a lot of that is has to do with some of the things that I have been doing in my own life, just like I talked about on last week's episode around opening the doors to abundance and using the subconscious mind to clear the blocks around the finances, around all of the things that can get in the way of that. Then when you get worried, when you get that tight feeling because you know you have to go buy more paint or something breaks or whatever, and it's just like, oh, dang it. I didn't have a lot of that feeling going on during this. We actually had something break that we had to replace and it was like, well, oh, I wish that hadn't happened, but okay we'll go find something. And so we had to replace a few things along the way that were unexpected. And that's, I felt okay about it. I love that. So obviously I am living up to the, my own advice to people in using my own subconscious to really clear the way to open the doors to that abundance for myself. So if you haven't listened to last week's episode, then go have a listen because you'll understand a little bit more about what I'm talking about. But I had to come in and share some of my wins that are really exciting and and going well and so many other things outside of that with the new I guess you'd say protocols and ways that I've been doing and learning some of the hypnosis that I'm doing, implementing that in a way that's really making changes in people's lives. That feels so good. That's a win to me. Yay. Having time with my family. That's a win. We haven't had as much together yet this summer, but our summer kind of only gets started in the last couple of weeks because June was nice, but it's not super warm. So I hope over the next six weeks or so, we'll have some time to go to the river, to go to the lakes, to have some fun, to play together and just hang out because that's one of my favorite things too. And that is a big win for me. So I'm excited. I'm excited about the new clients that I have, about the people that I'm working with regularly, about all of it. And I hope that you're having some wins too. And my friend, if you're not, if you're not in that place, if you're in the muck and the mire and you're stuck, then it's time, it's time to tap in to the subconscious mind and let it go to work for you. And if you're ready to do that, then come on, reach out to me. We can have a free conversation about that and see what we can do that will work for you. So there you go, my friends. Happy day, short and sweet this week, but I had to share some of those and I would love if you would come share some of your wins with me. You can email me, you can find me on social media, you can join the Change Gang. The link is in the show notes and come in there and post about some of your wins. I would love to cheer with you, for you, alongside you, just in general, let's cheer. Let's cheer about all those fun things. All right, my friends, off I go. I hope that you have a wonderful week and I look forward to meeting you right here, same time, next week. Ciao. I hope today's episode was interesting to you in some way and fun. If so, hey, find someone to share it with. Maybe they need to hear it too or maybe they'll just enjoy it. If you'd like, go ahead and grab my tips on supercharging your success. It includes a free short meditation to do just that. You can find that at bit.ly slash supercharge your success. Until next time, happy day.